Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it's Sunday, so this is Scrap Lift Crafternoon. And today we are scrap lifting this absolutely amazing layout by Scylla with Choice Bits of Bliss. And I'm doing like a close up because there's so much for your eyes to see on this layout. And, um, she has a video. It's not a process video. She kind of talks her way through it. Um, and I have again broken out my 49 and market Sherbert, um, Spectrum Sherbert, which this is only my second time. Um, I went ahead and created my little frames, um, on my Cricut and I have already put some foam on the back. So they already are going to have that dimension that she has on hers. Um, and I've decided to pick this piece of paper right here called lemonade. And I'm going to use that, um, as my base because she's got like a real pretty floral on the side. And of course you can tell that's where I cut mine out. I use three pieces of this collection. Three. So, um, the class, it's from the classic is this background paper. And then the solids is where I pulled the two papers I used for my frames. And I've gone through my ephemera and everything and pulled out some things over there. I think this yellow yarn is a little too bright for what I'm wanting to go with. So I'll probably pull the white or the black. Actually, I know I will because I'm done with the layout. Um, so I have all that and then I forget to pull those things out the rub-ons and the little bobbles so you know it's all good I can go back and add them if I want so here is my quote for this layout may there be comfort in knowing that someone so special will never be forgotten and I'm actually documenting these wreaths and some floral arrangements that were sent in and given to my family when my dad died in 2018 because that is the year that I am working on I have four pictures of wreaths and three pictures of some florals so I thought that this um, quote would be perfect for that um, collection of pictures so I have my papers my ephemera um, some this and that's my pictures and this absolutely stunning layout so let's see how this goes I went into this completely clueless as to what I was really doing other than the concept of making these frames. And when I first made the frames, I well, was building them on my Cricut. I made them way too big. Luckily, I never got to the point of cutting because if I had cut pictures or I mean frames out on my, this paper and wasn't able to use it this way, I would have been devastated <laughs> because I love this paper. So luckily, um, I had a brain, um, my brain kind of collected itself and said, oh yeah, <laughs> if you have three, four and a half inch papers going down, they will not fit. <laughs> that does not add into 12, you all. So anyway, so I am not going to make you watch me, um, build all of these, but I take the frame and I, the, the inside part of the frame and I cut a little wider around so that you can see a little of the edge coming up, but not much because that little green piece you see next to on the left, I just pointed at it. You all, you know, since you can see me, um, that is the inside of one of the frames. So I just use that as my base and trimmed my pictures around and so I'm just going to go through and fiddle with all of these because I want mine to be similar to hers except she never puts pictures in hers and I definitely wanted to put pictures in this and um, I thought that this would be the perfect thing to do because I wanted to get all of these on one layout and this many pictures on a layout would have been really overwhelming I think so the way that I build this after I get them all where I want them in the general idea of where I want them, um, like the pink floral bouquets, I tried to mostly put in the green, um, frame. So it didn't, um, really, it wasn't competing. So when I figured out what I wanted to put where I peel off the sticky and I'm just going to set it down on top of the picture. Um, very gently, very carefully, so that I can't really see the picture edge 
when I'm looking at the frame. And I just go through and do that with all of them. And I put them upside down because some of that foam is coming over the picture so it would stick to the paper and I don't want that. So I put them all down upside down so that it did not stick. I am going to still use double-sided tape for the frames and the pictures. Um, and so I just stick that down starting in the bottom corner. And I give myself about a little more than a three... Mm, it's less than a half an inch, but it's pretty close to a half an inch um, that I am going to leave over here on the left side. And then, of course, there's going to be a bigger gap over on the right, which is why I selected this paper that has the florals going up the side because she has um, like a floral bit. And I thought that would be pretty darn perfect for this layout with all these gorgeous flowers that people sent for my dad. So a couple of the wreaths we had made by my um, cousins who own a flower shop here in town. Um, but one of them was sent by my dad's best friend and his family. And the other ones were sent one for my sister's school, one from um, a place in Canada where my dad and my brother-in-law and my dad's best friend go fishing every year. And um, the other one was from a family friend we've had for many, many years. And there were tons of flowers. And my mom's house smelled, my mom's house smelled like a flower shop for a long time. Um, and a lot of these wreaths lived for a long time. And she still has the one that ends up the, on the top middle um, because it is made out of fake flowers. And so that just hangs in her house now so she can always remember it, and that's um, from his, my dad's best friend and her one of her really good friends who are married <laughs> um and they've known each other since they were in high school so anyway um i have a empty frame in the bottom right of course it's in the top right now and in the top left and that is where she pretty much has hers as well and then she's got some other things you know kind of overlapping in the area where the pictures would be but since I'm putting pictures in um, I don't want too much overlapping so I'm going to fussy cut that title or that quote out and um, I just found that on google um, I just typed in um quotes about grief but I wanted it to be something about um you know f uh, something about the fact that all these flowers were sent because he was a love he was a loved person so I thought that that um quote may there be comfort in knowing that someone so special will never be forgotten was fitting because he won't be <laughs> especially by us but even from these people who you know saw him once a year on a fishing trip or you know family events or things like that so anyway so I am pulling some different things out and since she does stitching around all of hers which I think is amazing but I don't really do much stitching um day one of scrap timber I stitched and I think I said that was like my fourth time stitching on a layout and that's pretty much the truth so I don't do stitching like she did. I'm not even doing faux stitching, but I'm going to bring that yarn or I guess it's really embossing thread or embroidery thread. That's what the word is, embroidery thread. Um, I'm going to bring that in. It's really more like a twine, a real thin twine. So, but I do want to add some embellishments all around. And so I use these butterflies. I use a green one, a yellow one, and a pink one because that's going to bring in all the colors that I'm already using. And that's what I did when I went through the ephemera I only pulled out there's a bunch of teal and aqua in the ephemera but I didn't bring any of that in because that's not reflected on this layout and I felt like the um this um it's not really lime green but this shade of green that I'm using was more appropriate for you know the florals and everything so I left all of the teal and aqua out and actually I do believe there's a smidge of orange over in on this background paper but I don't bring orange to the front of this layout so and I, there's actually a little bit of orange in one of the flowers so but not a whole lot mostly it's yellows pinks and then of course the greenery and then there's some red but um and even purple but I mostly am just going to go with the green, that limey colored green, the yellow, and then the light and darker pink. And I really, really love the way I was very nervous about this layout. And I almost didn't 
use this collection because I thought this could be a disaster and I don't want to ruin this really awesome paper. <laughs> um, but after I cut out the frames, I really love the way it looked. And because it's such thick paper, like 49 and market is massively thick paper. It's awesome. But um, even putting it on cardstock plus my Cricut pretty much I had to punch it out a little bit but I'm okay with that because it gave it that roughed up edge so I didn't have to rough it up myself um, which is good because I was a little nervous to do that I thought it might tear it up so it does look a little rough and rugged and I love that because you know the pictures are so pretty that it kind of gives it a little bit of a realistic look instead of you know being so prim and proper and perfect so instead of stitching, I am just doing the little um, wads of that twine or thread or whatever underneath. And I put it in four different places. I'm counting you all. <laughs> I put it in four different places um, up, and I put something on top of it. And I love that look. I've watched a lot of people do that with their dotty about flare um flare buttons and i think it looks so neat so that's why i decided to do it with a couple of the little circles and then i put down one that says loved one says special and then i used it over down there in that bottom one which is of course at the top right now um and that little yellow heart and then i also put one under my little yellow butterfly and even though there's already a little um yarn or ribbon or whatever you want to call it hanging on that tag in the top uh, left I went ahead and did that one under the special because I liked the way that looked and I'm also going to bend up my butterfly and put some foam strips underneath it in the middle just so that it gives it more dimension and so it will sit on top of just part of it on top of that um, quote because I want to give it a little bit of um, lift right there so and then I go through and kind of bend up the um, wings on the other two butterflies as well not as much as the green because they're kind of tacked down in different places to keep them where they are but just enough to give it a little bit of dimension and then um, let's see so I've got some different things on here up in the top um, right says you have my heart and I put a little green heart there and then that um, hot pink circle says loved and then in the middle um, on the right side says you are adored and then on the bottom left it says collect memories so I put all those on there and those all came from the collection there's nothing other than the little thread or twine that I used on this collection that did not come from this um, spectrum sherbert so the last thing I do, or I think it's the last thing I do, I pull this um, little tag that says forever and I go ahead and tie some of that same um, twine on there and I'm just going to kind of tack that down over on the side so it's not going to be that same little cluster or ring or circle that I've got for the other, but just kind of glue it down so it doesn't hang down. And then I'm going to put that right underneath where it says, oh, my heart. Um, and so um, that is going to pretty much finish off that. I didn't put any mixed media on here. I felt like these papers really just have enough um, media on them. There is enough um, coming out at you to not add anything else. I really felt like... Um, this layout was complete. Look, you even get to see the top of my head, which you normally don't. I've cut that stuff out. I didn't cut a lot out of building this. And once I had my frames all cut out and the pictures trimmed out, I think this layout only took me about 40 minutes, which surprised me. I thought it would take me forever. Of course, if I stitched, it would have. <laughs> so, but I, I, I love this layout after being so scared of what this was going to come out to be. And I mean, look how neat. I mean, she's got all that twine that's, or thread or whatever that's all over the place. And it looks really, really cool. I love um, how she has that. And it looks like she's matted her whole layout. But I didn't do that. I really just love the way this turned out. I was so happy with this. Um, so here are the close-ups. I hope that you all will go check out Scylla um, and her choice bits of bliss. I also hope that you will go and check out all the lovely ladies who are hopping along with scrap. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
with scrap lift for afternoon um because i am pretty sure that tara and isabel are hopping along anna and kimberly might be taking this week off and then of course christine I believe is also hopping along, but you will see them linked below or on the playlist. Um, so if they are not hopping along this week, go check out um, some of their other videos because they are definitely posting content and they are all fantastic. So I hope to see you all again really soon. Have a great day and happy scrapping.